dalam 37 orang. Boleh mula maksudnya apa? Uh, tak, uh, once kita, kalau doktor kata on boleh mula, saya boleh invite yang lain masuklah. Peserta uh, dalam. Azmi, uh, Dr. Azmi, can we, can we, uh, apa nama, allow them to come in? Is there anything you want to say before the peserta joins? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, everything has been prepped up. Uh, hopefully everything will go well today. Oh, I mean. Uh, apa, you really want us to see your bed frame and the olive, uh, the apple green <laughs> you, you want us to see all that lah, just to show that you're working from home, yeah. Sajak <laughs> so, uh, uh, I already got uh, the other cameras prepared, but if I put my webcam right now, uh, okay. you're going to see the a dark screen. Okay, okay, because, right. okay. So I'm going to put my webcam. I can't lah. change my background, kan? Okay. Uh, yeah. Can I change my background? Um, it's under Zoom, under virtual background. Oh, can't find it. Uh, you click on the video, uh, then you can change that, that, that feed. Ah, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Saya tak boleh dua kali green screen. So, I already got green screen. If I put again for Zoom, uh, it's going to be horrible. Yang ini gelap ni Dr. Azmi. Tu lah tu. Saya, saya, ada, saya ada banyak banyak kamera. Ada tiga kamera. So this is one. Uh, but this one I dah prepare untuk green screen. So that's why you nampak dia tu jadi hitam. Uh, sebab kalau masa live nanti, saya akan gunakan yang ini. Uh, jadi kita, saya akan uh, stream direct daripada uh, PowerPoint sambil gerak tu. Semua ada dekat sini. So, maknanya uh, peranan mic hanya spotlight saya punya feed saja. Saya tak ada buat share screen. Uh, saya hanya akan spotlight direct kepada saya punya video feed. Okay, Dr. Azmi, kita kita welcome the peserta ya. Yes, yes, please. Okay, mic uh, dipersilakan. Uh, Assalamualaikum dan selamat pagi kepada semua peserta. Uh, saya paparkan dahulu uh, QR code untuk scan tapi jangan risau di akhir sesi nanti saya akan uh, buka lagi QR code ni sekali lagi. Uh, dengan itu silakan Dr. Rai. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam hormat bagi semua. Um, terima kasih banyak kerana hadir uh, siri webinar Uh, pengajaran uh, yang ke-15 uh, untuk tahun 2020. Uh, kita mulakan uh, dengan uh, mendapatkan berkat uh, untuk sesi ini dengan bacaan uh, surah Fatihah. Okay, so uh, um, Terlebih dahulu izinkan saya memperkenalkan uh, penceramah jemputan kita uh, untuk siri webinar uh, kali ini. Uh, uh, yang bahagia Prof. Madia Dr. Azmi Mawak Tamil ialah seorang yang uh, tidak perlu diperkenalkan dari segi especially training untuk uh, PDP, pengajaran dan pembelajaran. Macam mana pun, uh, it's nice to get to know him a little bit, you know, based on his bio data. So I'm going to read you some of the things that he has given me in his bio data, dalam bio data uh, beliau. Uh, beliau adalah uh, pensyarah di Fakulti Perubatan di UKM ini. Uh, he holds a master in public health uh, from UKM. Uh, uh, he, he has also received his uh, MD from UKM. He was with the Ministry of Health for three years and four months. I like the fact that he's very, <laughs> very meticulous. Four months counts a lot, right? Uh, his latest uh, position was as the Negeri Sembilan State Health Officer in charge of AIDS and STD. 
um, brilliant. You know, he, he was involved in educating the public uh, on high risk groups, especially the high risk groups, uh, uh, creating videos and interactive multimedia uh, uh, content on AIDS and HIV, even back in 1995. He ventured into education and training of um, uh, industry upon the invitation of his uh, alma mater, which is UKM. Uh, he's currently a faculty member in the Department of Community Health uh, at the Faculty of uh, Medicine, uh, UKM. He actively conducts learning events in instructional technology and strategies in uh, PP UKM and other health related organizations. And he also held the post of e-learning facilitator for faculty you know, for many years, you know, 1999 to 2000, 2010 to 2018, and now 2020 on, uh, onwards. Um, and his title for today's webinar, Tajuk uh, per, per, Perkongsian Beliau, ialah Broadcast Quality Online Teaching with Zero Budget. Now, who doesn't want that, right? Siapa yang tak nak quality ni, quality teaching, tapi dengan budget yang yang paling minima. So, tanpa melengahkan masa, kita jemput uh, penceramah kita, uh, Dr. Azmi. Silakan. The floor is yours. Terima kasih, Prof. Raina. Uh, my apologies, uh, my talk will be shifting from Malay to English. My slides are totally in English, but uh, most probably uh, I'll be jumping into Malay on and off. I'm not sure about the audience because I've been told that it might include people from elsewhere. So, uh, as usual, uh, I'm going to change my screen to show the PowerPoint. Uh, right now, what's going to happen, uh, the host is going to hide spotlight my video. So that there is no need for me to share my slide. Okay. So the beauty of this way of teaching is that uh, I get to see I get to see my slide and I get to see uh, my my own face as it is projected on the screen. Uh, this is one of the things that I'm going to show you towards the end if I have the time. Okay. So uh, the title I know we, we promise. Yeah, I know we, uh, we we promise that broadcast quality teaching at zero budget. But Dato Dr. Badrol said that title is strong. Because uh, Dato Dr. Badrol is the orthopedic surgeon. He is in charge of uh, Kepala Lutut Longgo. So, uh, so he's the guy that you go to. And he said, ask me, your title is wrong. And he said, he made his changes. He said, uh, with minimum own budget. Okay. Which I, I, I have to say that he is in a way correct because I just realized uh, if you want broadcast quality, you do have to spend a bit. Okay, you do have to spend a bit. Okay, uh, a, a word of apology because I noticed the poster, there was some slight problem because they, the last uh, word in the poster was 3472PYI. If you type PYI, you end up with the uh, tempat mencari jodoh, huh? the matchmaking site dalam bahasa Jepun. My apologies to that. Uh, but uh, if you change the last letter to become a small L, eh, then you have got the, the correct uh, link. Okay, so my apologies to the audience who have complained that cannot get to this uh, talk because they end up at the matchmaking site. So my apologies again. Okay, so let's talk about broadcast quality. So when you talk about broadcast quality, by right, it is the level of quality that the video stream is suitable to be included inside the normal TV broadcasting. So for most of us, it's what you call the 1080p. The 1080p quality or the 720p. Uh, P refers to the pixel. But for us, uh, we are not really broadcasting on television. Instead, we are streaming on online platforms such as uh, Microsoft Teams, like this one, we have Zoom, okay? Uh, so, in this case, we are talking more about broadcast quality in the sense that we want very crystal clear audio with no humming of feedback, okay? Which is very important for us because if the voice is not clear, there is no point having the lecture. I hope... Okay, for, sorry yes. to interrupt. I yes. apologize to you. But is the screen small? Because right now I can only see like a smidget uh, on the big screen with everyone else's names. I don't know whether everybody's experiencing the same. So okay. your screen is like this far left top corner. So it's tiny and then I see everybody else's name. Is okay. that the same for everybody? 
what you should do is you click speaker view on the top screen right side on the top screen right side you see the view you click on the view and you select speaker view you will see the uh, the bigger version of me thank you so much okay thank you all right so okay so uh, uh, sorry my apologies <laughs> okay uh, so right now what is important here the, the whole point here i think we have done this for, since uh, march 18 of march that was uh, the d day suddenly everybody has to start, start teaching online and suddenly we realized that we did not have the necessary capacity to do this i in a way for me i'm lucky because uh because my son who was asked to work from home and he's testing games he's testing games so he said he told me baba i need the biggest fattest internet line that you got and I, I said okay just tell me the lazada link i buy for you so he gave me the link i buy and uh, we upgraded our line to become the proper line and suddenly we got the necessary uh, feedback uh, sorry the necessary speed for the internet for online teaching so in a way i'm lucky because i have a uk uh, my son who is trained in ukm thank you uh, ftsm lecturers for training my son properly and uh, he has and i have a fantastic internet line at home okay so uh what is the required thing what is the required minimum thing for us to teach okay i think the basic thing is a notebook a proper recent notebook i have a, an old one an asus uh, which i bought about uh, 10 years ago i tell you it's horrible i'm just glad that uh, i got one under my grant a new notebook so which is quite a decent one the thing is right now sometimes we thought we can only teach if we have the notebook got camera but for your information any camera will do any camera I don't know about you, but most of you got some small camera like this. My the thing is, even your camera, your action cam, your your Canon camera, your Nikon, every one of them can be used for streaming. Okay, so if you have them, you can just put it on a tripod, connect the necessary cables, and you can start teaching using the internet. So right now, for me, that uh, action camera. When I'm not using it for cycling, I'm putting it on my notebook to teach to for teaching purposes. Okay, for online product platform for us, it's not really uh, an issue because we have Microsoft Teams. For Kuti Prabatan, we have Zoom. We have 20 Zoom licenses and we have the Zoom webinar. So every department is, is allocated a license for them to use for teaching. But most of us use Teams because Teams is uh, hassle-free. You can do it directly on your own. But of course, the key point here is internet. The key point here is internet. We have uh, a stable internet connection. Okay. So I think you the the way to check it, you can go and test it for yourself online for free. The the name of this, the link is easy speedtest.net. Okay. So you just run the test for it, and you, they will tell you whether you got a good line or not. If you want to teach, always use for an internet line internet line i don't know some of you call it a fixed line some call uh, most of us call it a LAN connection but in ucam the problem is that line is connected to the computer allocated by the university and the, the computer allocated to the by the university but for me it's a computer that came from the year 2003 running on windows xp no microphone no camera okay and you can imagine trying to teach on, online using that so uh and we have only one fixed line and that ip address is already fixed to the computer you cannot change okay but you want to use it with your notebook so how what to do you can share that fixed line i don't know whether you can see this or not okay the word is tiny url whoops let, let me move out yeah, okay, you, no. <laughs> i'm blocking yeah. the the word is yeah. share line ukm the word is share line you can don't worry the link is coming up again tinyurl.com share line you can you, uh, so you just go to that link tinyurl.com share line you can you will get that the video on how to share the internet line okay so uh, this is my line at home 
So you can see the speed is 522 mega, megabit per second. My son keep emphasizing on that. Baba, it is megabit, not megabyte. Okay. The line, the download line is mega, uh, 522 megabit per second. My upload speed is 107, which is okay. That's the best that uh, Unify can give me. The, the Please take note of this. The ping is only 6 millisecond. Okay, the best is around five, so mine is six, so I'm I'm having quite a good line. So where to test? You just go to speedtest.net, you check, and you will find out how fast is your line. Okay. Okay, so since uh, due to the current PKPB, all of us are stuck at home. I'm also stuck at home. Personally, I thought I'd be teaching today from my department, so I did not make any preparation. Uh, so you can imagine my shock and surprise when. I realized I have to do it from home. Even Hashim can have to do it from home. Uh, Fahmi, Mike also have to do it from home. So uh, luckily for me, I got a good line. So try to get the best line uh, possible. For me, uh, is the Unify 500. The Unify 500 was, is only 190 ringgit way back in 2018. But because my daughter wants to watch the K-pop or whatever, so I have to get the 240 ringgit one. So, uh, as I mentioned just now, that speed is only available to you with the correct router and cables. So therefore, for the correct router, you have to fork out a bit of money uh, at home. Uh, it's going to cost you about 300 ringgit. I also have a repeater right on my side, on the left side. So, even though the line is downstairs, the Wi-Fi is repeated uh, through the repeater. And uh, cables. Uh, my house, the cables from the router are all cat 8. So it is, is the ultimate in terms of cables. Uh, why? <laughs> because I found out on Lazada that thing is the same price like Cat5. So I bought the Cat8. Cat 8. As for Wi-Fi, if you are going to go for Wi-Fi at your home, you, uh, why you go for the 300 ringgit router? Because they tend to have the dual band router. So the dual band router, they have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. Why? The 2.4 gigahertz can transmit at 50 megabits per second. The 5 gigahertz can transmit at 600 megabits per second. So, which one is better? The 600 one is better. Okay, but, but, they can only work when there is no obstruction and when there is no uh, great distances. So, means it, it, it can only work in the same room. So, for me, the 5 gigahertz can only work inside the living area for some of you who are currently using the internet light for your phone uh, you, you can check you'll be lucky to get two megabits per second and we check with the uk and wi-fi same speed two megabits per second so hopefully after the 31st of october we will get a faster line that will be better than two, two megabits per second why is this important because for the zoom you need at least 600 kilobits per second Okay, that one is the minimum, one-to-one -one at low resolution. But the minute you will have a group call, you need at least a 1.5 megabits per second line. If you want to transmit at 1080p, you need the 3 megabits per second line, minimum. Okay, and as mentioned just now, we show, I just showed you just now the ping. Please take note, if you have the ping, slower than what is supposed to be for me the ping is six if your ping is slower your voice and your picture will not synchronize mulut cakap lain gambar cakap lain okay so please take note of that that's why we need a fast line so for line it is usually between five to twenty milliseconds <laughs> sorry i also cannot see the words uh, but for Wi-Fi, it will be close to 30 milliseconds and for handphone, it can up reach up to 100 milliseconds. So it sucks. Eh? So it sucks. So my apologies for that. Uh, you try to get a fixed line. Okay, I know already people are going to say, Doctor, how can you say like that? If you, are, you want us to uh, get a good line, we have to pay. Wow, of course. Huh? So how to get the no budget solution? The no budget solution is to get PTM to supply another internet port to your room and allocate an IP address for your notebook. But of course, it's going to affect the PTM budget. Why? Uh, the cost to install one internet port inside your room is an average of 380 ringgit. 
Okay, so this is going to affect their their budget. So of course they're going to be quite fussy whether they want to share that budget with you or not. Okay, so please take note. Uh, again, I I share the link. Tinyurl.com share line UKM. How much it will cost you? If you buy Xiaomi for R four uh, C, it is only forty ringgit. If you buy it from China. It's thirty nine ringgit, uh, but it's going to take you be, uh, about two weeks before that uh, item arrive. Uh, Shopee, uh, somebody told me it is available for thirty nine ringgit locally, so you can try that. Okay, or if you think thirty nine ringgit is too much, you want it cheaper, you can search for the modern Mercusis. I know Mercusis ke Mer Mercusis, it's thirty five ringgit. Okay, or you can even cheaper up to thirty two ringgit. Okay, so. Yes, you do have to go. If your PTM don't want to help you, you have to fork out thirty ringgit. But I mean, okay lah. It is until you pay change now. You pakai. For your information, my router is at my room. I bought it about five years ago, and I'm still using it for now. Okay. Okay. So that's the story about internet line. But I promise you something free. So when I promise you something free, it should be uh, the really free lah. And the free thing that I'm going to offer to you is OBS Studio. As you can see, I'm teaching. When I'm teaching, you're seeing me here, down there at the bottom right side, and my PowerPoint is at my back. Okay, and I'm doing this by using OBS Studio. And this OBS Studio is free. Okay, so I'm going to uh, give you the link uh, for you to download. Don't worry, I'm going to also give you the link. Step by step, how to do this on your computer, okay, and also step by step how to do this, the PowerPoint. So I give you both the PowerPoint and I give you the video, okay. So I'm going to show you the link, okay. For the OBS project, you can just uh, go, sorry for the OBS Studio, you can just Google OBS Studio. They will bring you to the link obsproject.com. It is free, okay. It is free. I personally only discovered this due to PKP. So because of the PKP, I had to stream all the lectures online. I was asked by the faculty to stream all our CPC. CPC stands for Clinical Pathological Conferences every Wednesday. We had one this morning uh, about uh, stomach cancer. Okay, and I'm supposed to... Uh, okay, this one, Razina Sharif is asking, boleh record slot ni? Uh, this thing is recorded. You can get it from my YouTube. My YouTube is simple. YouTube.com slash Dr. Tamer. Okay. My YouTube. My, okay. Uh, that's the nice thing about having my name. Azmi bin Muhammad Tamer. Anak Tamer tapi orang Melayu. So, the because of that name, I, everything I put Dr. Tamer. So, you search, search for YouTube.com slash Dr. Tamer. You get this video. Okay. So, uh, OBSproject.com. That's one. To get the PDF file, okay, to get the PDF file, it is at tinyurl slash stream zoom to uh, stream zoom, okay, stream zoom, tinyurl.com stream zoom. For the video, it is at tinyurl.com slash stream zoom to. So the video is there, but I just checked the video, I just realized that it is very noisy because that one it was recorded on my old Asus net notebook. Something wrong with the audio cable. So it was very, very noisy. So I'm very sorry about that. Okay. So hopefully this one will be better. Okay. So, okay. So when you saw the obvious video, it looked something like this. Don't worry. They even cater for Windows, Mac OS, and also for Linux. Linux, they have for most of the major flavors. But the only one they did not support is uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm also a Raspberry Pi fanatic. I've been trying for about two weeks trying to get uh, OBS Studio to run on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's this pie you cannot eat. Eh? This pie if you cannot eat, uh, I, I cannot get it to run. Okay, so you can use it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Okay, so you just I'm not going to show you a demo on how to install OBS Studio. Uh, it'll be an insult to everybody's intelligence. I know everybody knows how to install a program, so you just install it and follow all the instru instructions until it is done. Okay. Okay, so that's the story about OBS Studio. 
I think you noticed just now when I was uh, when we started, I had that scrolling text. I had that scrolling text. Okay, I'm going to show you again the scrolling text. Okay, uh, okay. I know people complain, Dr. Azmi, suddenly you become very dark. Okay, my background is very dark because of the because of uh, the green screen technique. Okay, but you can see down there at the bottom, down there at the bottom, we have the scrolling text and we have the UKM logo. So whenever I'm teaching my class, I will always have this thing running so that they know uh, my name is so and so. That they have my link for my all my notes and they have the link to contact me by email. Uh, I have the UKM logo. Uh, of course, I have to be proud of UKM. They are paying my salary. Okay, so this is uh, the scrolling text. I think you saw this every evening at 6 o'clock when you're watching uh, Dato Ish, uh, is it Tansri now? Tansri Shah Abdullah uh, when he is uh, giving the, the number of COVID every evening. So you can so also have the same thing. You want, you can put also the result of the COVID down there slowly. Okay, so I'm going to change back to the green screen. Okay. Alright, so now I'm back to the zoom screen. Okay. So you can see that. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this on your on your uh, on your zoom or on your teams. It is so easy that I only have to show it to my students only once. And based on what I showed them last week, they they run the what we call Muasram. Muasram is a student's uh, medical conference and they run it totally on OBS studio and they did a fantastic job. Okay, but of course, uh, the young the young are different. We are old already. The young, you show them only once, they, they go crazy with it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you a video. Eh? Uh, please take note, I'm going to stream a video. When this video is streaming, Okay, you're not going to see as any uh, any differences like what usually you saw last time. Last time, whenever people stream a video, you see that thing is jagging up and down. Okay, so this one I'm going to show you streaming using OBS Studio is going to go very very smooth. So for the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize your video feed, and then later I'm going to show you how to share your Zoom. Okay, I'm going to go and play back that video now. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create a new scene so that we have all the layers there. Okay, we're going to start on the left side. You can see here on the left side, there was the word scene. I'm going to create, okay. So the, since this one is the demonstration, I'm just going to put the word demo. Click OK. So since this is a demo, we start with a blank slate and there's nothing there. So the first thing we have to add is our video source. So oh, on the you, sources, I'm we here. Click, right click. We oh, that's what Sources. Okay, my apologies. Oh, click okay, uh, let me stop. Device. Since I already have my sources already uh, determined. Uh, so we need, to, we need to select my webcam there. So click OK, my webcam. So Thank when you, you for the, the here, that, that's the thing about uh, thing do this is part going to resize it uh, okay. because for now this thing we to have work, the, the the webcam now okay. we want to Never mind. what I can do now I can the, I scroll basically I can do the background also. for the scrolling text hopefully so we're going to <laughs> add the media so I'm, so I'm going to stop this thing I'm going so to go back to the screen so what image okay my apologies okay like I said before sometimes technology can 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 uh, happen like this okay my apologies okay i'm going to demo this thing in live okay i'm going to share screen okay so i'm going to share screen so like i said sometimes it works sometimes it does not work okay my apologies okay so i'm going to share my screen okay so right now you are seeing my uh, obs studio this is what, what, how it looks like normally okay uh, I'm going to minimize the other things that we don't need. Okay. So, for for us to have a scrolling text, okay, I'm going to start on the left side. You look here, down there on the left side. 
I'm going to put demo okay scroll text demo scroll text okay I click OK okay when you have the scroll text the first thing you have to put on the screen on the left the, the, is your own video feed so my video feed is going to be my uh, video my webcam so I click on video capture device so I select my video capture device well, my video capture device is my webcam okay this one is already there because I already have it earlier for you all you have to create new click okay so you can see that there is my video there so you just make it larger okay so now you have the video so after the video you need to have the background at the bottom so for me the background the background is just a simple gray background the students did a different one they come up with gold and gray so it looks fantastic uh, I'm, I was very impressed with my student so how to do that you just draw a, a gray picture on the paint or any of the web, the paint program that you have the size is uh, 1092 times 70 pixel I, I have the notes later I'm going to show you okay I'm going to put in the image file so this is the image file so what is the image file the background scroll I click OK so you can see there at the top there there's a the scroll okay next we have to put in the text so what how to put in the text just right click add okay put text okay so here I'm going to put uh, this one is uh, uh, for a demo demonstration so I'm going to put scroll text demo 2 scroll text demo 2 I click OK okay so what is going, I'm going to put okay this is a demo of scrolling text okay at the end I'm going to put that vertical thingy I don't know what you call it okay but I realized that with that we, when we have the vertical thingy it, it, it clearly that this is the, the last part of the whole thing okay Okay, so you just copy and paste click OK okay by the way how many words you can use you can go up to 2,000 words I already did, uh, did before I have 2,000 words and it works it, it, it works the size is should be around 32 the size should be around 32 how do I know it's 32 is trial and error I've been using it for many times and I find out 32 is the best in terms of size sometimes I can go also for 48 okay Okay. So what do you want the text to do? You want the text to move. Okay. So what I do, I bring my cursor to the text, right click, filters. I repeat, bring on the scroll text demo, the word, right click, then select effects. Then you select scroll. On the plus, you select scroll. You click, okay, okay. And then you set the speed. The speed up to you. I like to use uh, the speed of 32 because it moves slow enough that people can read it and not too fast. Okay, then you have the scrolling text. The other thing is you can have what we call your logo. Okay, so I'm going to put in the logo. So the logo is in terms of the layer to be at the top. So logo you can. Doctor, where to get the logo? Website you can. I don't know if you got copyright or not, but I just download and use it in all my uh, in all my presentation. So you can see that I have the logo here. I put the logo. And it is big size. No worry, you can just resize it. So you could rasa. Okay. And once you're done, so you can see what happened when I click the transition button. The feed for you all has changed to become uh, the scrolling text this is the demo of the scrolling text okay how do we get this to come out inside zoom inside zoom okay i'm going to go back to zoom hopefully i can find where it is zoom <laughs> okay inside zoom on the video okay on the video if you click the pull down you can see that there's obs virtual camera there is the OBS view. So I can just go back to my webcam. This is my webcam. Uh, okay. But 
Of course, there's no, there will be any picture. I can go to my Insta. Okay. But now, I can go to the OBS virtual camera. So, this is the OBS virtual camera. Sorry. Hilang eh. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So, this is the OBS virtual camera. So, this is where you get all the... Uh, you get all the... Uh, the video to come out. So how does they know that this is the video to come out? Because if you look and under OBS Studio, there is the virtual camera. So when you on the virtual camera, it will come out as a picture. Anything that you have on the right screen will come out as a picture inside your Zoom or inside your Teams. Okay. Kazmi, uh, yes? sorry to interrupt, but when you were showing us uh, just now, it kind of like just disappeared into the background. I'm not sure if others are experiencing the same. Do you mind repeating that step one more time? The last part where for the zoom one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm, 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 I think all the all, all right click will be shattered to all of us. Kita orang yang memang tak nampak. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Right, right click kan. Ha. Thank you, Norman. Okay, uh, I'm, I okay. I try. I try to zoom. Uh, okay, I'm going to change the feed of the camera. Okay, to using my Insta. Okay, let's see whether I can change the to Insta. Okay, okay. This is the Insta. So hopefully you can see the screen. Okay, I'm going to start the video now. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Testing, testing. All right. Okay. Tak boleh. Eh? Okay, I'm going to start the video. Okay, tak boleh juga. So, my apologies. So you guys not seem to work. I'm going to go back and sharing the screen and again join you all. Okay. So this is the OBS Studio. So this is the OBS Studio. If you look at your if once you have installed uh, OBS Studio, you will see when you click the virtual camera, when you click on the video feed, you can select the video feed that will come out. And the video feed that will come out will be uh, whatever that you are, you are sh sharing in terms of uh, on the right uh, the picture in the right screen. Okay, don't worry. You can see it on the video uh, that I'm sharing to with you all. So, uh, inshallah, it should be clear to you all. All right. So I'm going to go back and stop sharing and see whether hopefully I can go back to my class. Okay. Takut juga, takut hilang kelas. Ha! Okay, so this is me. Yeah, I'm back in class. Okay, I'm going to share uh, back the, the feed from the green screen. Okay. okay. So, what I did just now was to show you how to create a scrolling text and how to share it on your Zoom or on your Teams. I'm going to have a PowerPoint on that. Eh? I'm going to have a PowerPoint on that. So, don't worry. Okay, so this one is the grey color, 1920 times 70 pixel. This one, the logo you came, you saw already in action just now. Okay, this one is the playback, which does not, does not work. <laughs> okay, so inside Zoom, I think you can see here clearly. Yeah, you can see here inside here clearly. Okay, there's the button there. When you click on the video, you can change that feed to whichever camera you got. Right now, I got four cameras. Sorry, I got three cameras plus OBS Studio. Okay, so I got four feed there. So I can select any of the four feed to show whatever that I want. Okay, so that is the, the trick under Zoom. If we are doing this inside Teams, same thing. Inside Teams, same thing. So inside Teams, you just change on the uh, for the camera. You just change for, from the webcam to become OBS camera, and then you get to see uh, your your face come out on the screen. But please stay note under Teams, Teams tak mirror, eh? Teams dia tak mirror. So they everything they will look terbalik. So even your name will come out terbalik. So don't panic. Your your friend will see it correctly. 
Okay, so that is how we do it inside OBS Studio for Teams and Zoom. Alright, 10.36, we are well on time. So this is what we call, uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure that I'll be doing this or not. Uh, this is a green screen. Uh, green screen, I think you saw already. Uh, okay. Okay, Hasana is asking how to stream to two place rentak. Uh, for your information, yes, it can be done, but you have to download an extra app. Okay, Hasana, Hasana is asking, of course, the the powerful question lah. That one will be the bonus bonus section. <laughs> bonus bonus. Uh, we, you there's a there's a plugin that you can download. You can download and you can stream uh, immediately to two places at the same time. But please take note, the virtual camera cannot work. The virtual camera cannot work. You get only uh, the FB Live and the YouTube. Right now, I'm streaming this thing to my YouTube. Okay. Okay. They say cannot hear my voice. Okay. So... Uh, Name, uh, who's Facebook? My, uh, okay. Okay, I think I know why. It is, uh, they say the Facebook on, uh, the Facebook, basically is a matter of the uh, playing around with the feed. For them to get the Facebook to work, they need to do, have what we call a virtual cable. I know, I don't know whether I can show this to you or not, uh, because, yeah. but if you look at my, the slide before, I, I tried to go back to the slide before. I have what we call a virtual cable. So right now, I can stream on Facebook and YouTube, no problem. Because I got the virtual cable to work. So the virtual cable, we transfer all the words accordingly to the Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, your tech team. Whether they got the virtual cable installed or not. Okay. Uh, I do the same thing with my uh, with my Zoom, but I already deleted that slide for today's session. All right. So very sorry about uh, you all. Uh, right now, I have no idea whether my stream on Zoom uh, on my YouTube also got audio or not. Hopefully, it got audio. Otherwise, we're, I feel... we're checking on it on our end, Doctor Azmi. Uh, okay. You can go. And, yeah, okay. we're checking on it. And okay. we're also recording this session and making it available later. So, inshallah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the green screen. Okay. okay. First and foremost, you need to spend some money. How much? 60 ringgit. 60 ringgit. Tala tipu punya. Okay. So, green screen. Oh, not zero budget. Lah. <laughs> not zero budget. Lah. Not zero budget. Uh... Okay, uh, but this one, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But if you want to have a green screen, uh, you can do uh, what uh, my wife suggested. My wife suggested uh, pakai kain sekolah anak. Okay, pakai kain sekolah anak. Potong-potong jahit, buat screen. But it'll be horrible lah, <laughs> looking at the back. So I got it from Lazada for 20 ringgit. The stand, I already got it for from from my grand, but stand to the patah, so I had to replace it, and it cost me on Lazada, Lazada only forty ringgit. Okay, so it's not zero budget. Okay, this one is more for the impact factor, the um. Okay, the um. Okay, I'm going to show you how it is done. Okay. Okay, I mean, since we know already the playback does not work, I have to share screen. Okay, I have to share screen. Okay, Norman Yaman said, beli kain Ella kat Jekyll. Yes. Uh, tapi tu lah, saya, saya dah ajak bini saya pergi Jekyll. Bukan Jekyll. Pergi kedai kain dekat sini. Uh, biasalah kan, kalau kita ngajak bini tu, kita tak kerti nak, nak, nak timing yang cantik kan. Jadi lala kita beli online kat Lazada. Ya. Alright, I'm going to share screen now. Okay, you can see here now. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, I'm, I'm having a bit of problem here. Okay. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to show a demo on green screen. I'm going to show you a demo on green screen. 
So right now you are seeing two things at the same time, me in the back dark background, which is not a good way to show this. So I'm going to undo the, the background so that you can see how it is done properly. So I'm going to switch off the filters. Okay, I'm going to switch off filters. Okay, so this is the reality. This is the reality. Uh, right now, I have a green screen at my back. In my, at my back. Okay, so this is a green screen. This is a green screen. And you can see that this is a humongous green screen. You can see the edge there, so I can tend always to adjust my notebook so that I don't see the the edge. Tapi itu lah dapat pangkal hujung lesap. Eh? I get the top, then the bottom one come out. So how to do this? Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this, and you're going to say, "Wow, so simple." Okay, on the left side, add. So I'm going to put demo green screen door. Why? Because I got so many already here. Green screen door. Okay, I click OK. So now you can see that on the left side, everything is blank. Everything is blank. So next thing to show is your PowerPoint. So next thing to show is your PowerPoint. So right now I have to get a uh, proper nice screen for my PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, okay, let's have this one. Okay. Okay. So right now we have this. Uh, so right now I'm going to show you first the bottom layer, and the bottom layer is the PowerPoint. So how to get the PowerPoint there? The beauty of OBS Studio, they can capture any screen. Right now my OB, uh, my PowerPoint is on my second monitor. Uh, you cannot see it, but I can see it. So I click here, window capture. You can capture the window. Okay. So since I'm going to use the I'm going to use the uh, a new one, okay. So I'm just going to put in uh, with I don't never mind. I, this one is same one. It's a window capture. This one. So I click OK. Okay, this is the PowerPoint screen. Uh, please take note a very important part. This one I keep uh, missing up this part. Double click on the Windows capture. Make sure the capture method is selected for Windows 10. If you got Windows 7, you use with play Windows 7. But if you got your uh, using Windows 10, put Windows 10. Otherwise, it will not uh, the pictures will not move. Okay, click OK. Okay, now you want to put in your face, your beautiful face. So I'm going to get my green screen there, my green screen, my webcam. Right click, add. Video capture device. Okay. I'm going to add my webcam. I, I think you can see that I got so many video feed. I got my Insta, I got my live cam, I got my uh, capture card encoder. I got I got three encoders. In fact, I got four. Okay, so I'm going to click the webcam. Okay, where are you going to put bottom right side? Okay, next. There are so ex so many extra spaces. How to get rid of the extra spaces? On your keyboard, press alternate. On your keyboard, press it. Then you click on the square there and drag. Press alternate, drag. Okay. You you want to have your full body? You can put your full body. Oops. For me, a full body is. Too much. <laughs> okay. Then resize it accordingly. Okay. So now you want to make all the green color go away. <coughs> My apologies. Uh, Nor Ibrahim asks, why green? Cannot use any other color. Can? It does not matter. We, uh, but why we chose green? Because you are unlikely to wear green unless you are in the military. Okay? So that's why they tend to use the green screen. Okay? I'm going to show you. You can select other colors. So please take note. Right click. Filters. Okay? Right click filters. What are your filters? Under effect, you click on effect. Right click. Chroma key. Okay? 
Okay, I selected chromatic. You can see the word there, chromatic. I click OK. Wah, sudah hilang. So you can see that all the green color go missing. Doctor, why green? You can use any other color. You got blue, you got magenta. You can even select your own color. Okay. But very important, eh? if you're going to use the green screen, jangan pakai baju warna hijau. Nanti you pun hilang. Tinggal kepala je terapung. Alright, so please take note that. Kalau you punya gambar tak cantik sebab you to poor lighting dan sebagainya, you can adjust dekat sini similarity dengan smoothness ha, supaya ianya hilang. Uh, yeah, normal is laughing. Yes, I tell you. There are people who are reporting on the weather. They forgot they're not supposed to wear green. They end up uh, badan hilang dekat uh, tayangan TV. Okay, so you can see here now. Okay, you can see now on my video feed, my camera. You can see my camera. I already changed the to become that. Okay, to become that green color. And the best part on the PowerPoint, if you are teaching using PowerPoint, as you change the screen, they will change also. Okay. And with that, uh, we finish the what was promised. I better stop now. Okay, I'm going to stop and go back to my normal screen. Uh, first, stop share. Okay, stop share. Okay, I, I am now open to question and answer. But just to answer Hasana, I'm going to share that part about sharing screen. Hasana asked about that how to get to stream to, to the two places at the same time. You can just go and download. Uh, there's a extension for Facebook. That's a, for OBS Studio. The extension is uh, called dual streaming. And when you do that, you will see that uh, it will come out on your okay, okay. It will come out on your uh, on your OBS Studio. Okay, I'm I, I'm I'm going to share it again. So I'm going to share again. Okay. So when you install the dual dual, dual streaming button, they will come out below your stop the virtual camera. There'll be a, a dual dual streaming. So you, but once, please take note, once you have that, your virtual camera won't work. So how do we stream? We just stream by using this button. Click tools. Then you click on auto configuration wizard. Then you can start streaming. I cannot do it now because currently I'm streaming to my YouTube. So inside that, they are inside my slide that I gave earlier, that list of stream zoom. They, they have all the steps on how to stream your session to the your session to the Facebook or YouTube and with that I stop here okay stop sharing okay okay after that tab I'm going to go back to my normal screen hopefully I'm not going to show you my all life green bits right now we are in the process of changing everything here to become green color so the wallpaper is going to be green the curtain is going to be green the bed is going to be green in color, but I got the I bought the wrong color from the uh, Shopee. Okay, I'm going to transition. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm going to stop the green screen. Uh, filters. Remove. Okay. Close. Okay. All yours, Pro, uh, the Pro Raina. Okay, thank you so much, uh, you. Dr. Azmi. Um, I will start by saying, wow. Um, that was brilliant. Uh, the you. kind of thing that you are able to do just in the, the square footage that you have called home. Uh, that was brilliant. Um, I'm, I'm going to open the session to questions. Kalau ada soalan uh, untuk Dr. Azmi, if you've got questions, um, uh, please do uh, unmute your mic and ask. Um, and Dr. Azmi, uh, ada requests from, from our uh, friends. Can you share your YouTube channel? Do you want to do a quick promo? We give you a couple of... <laughs> okay, uh, I already answered that. Basically, it is youtube.com slash drtamel. The nice thing about having my father's name, Tamil, uh, you know siapa anak Tamil lah. So, there's uh, six of us, Azmi, Bahria, Haril, Dazimah, Imran, Farah. Uh, there's another one, uh, 
in the university also have binti Tamil, but I don't think she's my sibling lah. Okay, uh, so the name Tamil is uh, dot, uh, is mine. So youtube.com slash Dr. Tamil. You know, you know, one thing I like about Dr. Azmi is um, his entire family is present with him whenever he is giving talks like this. So you, he mentioned his son, his siblings, <laughs> his father many, many times. So, you know, I love the fact that the entire family spirit is with you everywhere you go and when you're doing your presentation. Uh, um, I, I, I welcome any uh, questions from the crowd. We've got 131 um, uh, participants, uh, Dr. Azmi. Yeah, thank you. Uh, sekiranya ada soalan untuk Dr. Azmi, dipersilakan if you've got questions for uh, Dr. Azmi. Um, there is one uh, sent to me uh, privately. They okay, ask, cool. when you are presenting, do you see yourself live and presentation slide? Okay, this one, uh, uh, Saada asked this question. Okay, uh, what, this is a trick that I realized that uh, we can, everyone of us can do. All our notebook got uh, output. All our notebook got extra video output, either VGA or HDMI. So what happened is, you can just get your own small monitor and put it beside your notebook, then you can have two monitors. So when you have two monitors, you can see both the yourself live and the presentation slide. So when I'm working right now, I, I wish I could show you, but we already tried this now, we, can, we cannot see it. Uh, the... I have the, the big screen there is showing the PowerPoint. The small screen is showing the Zoom. So whenever I'm navigating, I'm navigating on the PowerPoint, but the effect I see on the Zoom. Okay? All right. Mohon, sekiranya ada soalan untuk Dr. Azmi. Okay, there's another one. Uh, I think from Azili Arifin. Uh, they're asking about a setup RTMP server to streaming kedua atau lebih. Uh, so, uh, I, I do have what we call a hardware encoder. This hardware encoder allows me to stream to four sites at the same time. But this hardware encoder, I, I bought it from China, from AliExpress. Uh, it cost me about 500 ringgit. I've used it only twice because I realized I don't have four sites to stream. We have only, <laughs> so we have only two. So I end up, uh, I end up using uh, only uh, what we use now, which is the notebook. Because as mentioned by Hasana, your OBS studio can already stream to two sites simultaneously. Can stream to YouTube and can stream to Facebook. And all of us are basically there. Uh, is there any other platform that you can stream? Yes, there is Twitch. Twitch, but unless you are doing something physical like playing games or Carpentering, there's no point for you to be on Twitch. The other one is banned in Malaysia, and that is Pornhub. Okay. Don't ask me why I know that. Moving on. Yes. Uh, ada soalan lagi? Are you getting questions yourself? Okay. Uh, there is a question about uh, mic. Yeah. Microphone. Okay. Uh, about microphone. Okay. By right, by right, you should have many microphones. By right, you should have many microphones. Why? You can ask Fahmi, um, um, Mike. Mike uh, got a few microphones uh, for himself because the good mic can make you sound better. I wish I got my good mic with me, but it is stuck in my office. Okay. You sound good. Though. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, just take note of that. If you have additional mic, it will make you sound better. So, so basically invest like the first thing you said at the beginning what's the minimum requirement a yes. notebook a good <laughs> notebook so i suppose in the long run you start to invest gradually you you mentioned a few uh, devices you know the cheapest routers so uh, the green screen the green screen stand so gradually i suppose we build our own uh, studio um uh, at home perhaps yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, among the messages, uh, Pro Rampal, thank you very much. This one about a good microphone. Okay, personally, I cannot recommend a good microphone. Uh, I'm the guy who buys a uh, chip, so I end up having junks inside my collection. I have seven microphones, and uh, the good ones are paid for by the grant. Uh, they are quite expensive, but I do not know what brand it is because you know like, when you buy through the grant, 
they go through the uh, sebut harga whatever so you don't know what brand you get uh, as for but for me on my part my the good ones that i buy for myself are all the boya brand boya b-o-y-a okay so that is my own first the good ones that i invest but it costs about 400 ringgit lah. so boy for boya uh the higher brand uh, like even more expensive okay so, uh, sorry Pro Hanana, i missed the, the part you mentioned now last part uh, no, I, I'm just saying that, you know, um, I, I suppose it's a sense of, because you began by saying minimum requirement uh, yes. for us to have a notebook. And then gradually you mentioned a few other devices. So I suppose you kind of um, build up your studio along the way, right? You didn't set off uh, in your academic career in UKM wanting to start with a studio. You know, you've come a long way since 1995. So I suppose you kind of gradually upgraded your studio at home. Would that be fair to say? I wish my wife is not hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> I only started investing uh, a lot of money inside all this thing only after Feb uh, February. Oh. Uh, yes, because... Because... Uh, because uh, February of 2020 of this yes, year. Yes, this year. Oh, uh, oh. Th that's uh, in a way. Uh, I've been trying to get the faculty to buy stuff for me, but I think you understand the faculty goes through a lot of process, and a lot of things that we requested for still have not gone through the necessary approval or proced procedures. So sometimes I end up being too impatient i end up buying the things my, myself like the one the latest one i bought was the Ate mini because i thought i might need it for today but turn out i don't have to use it and uh, uh but okay alhamdulillah everything goes well um i i have a question since no one's asking you right now i have a question what's the biggest challenge you face now since the pkp and and currently this current situation because you're very techno savvy by the look of it and you are able to do a lot of things from your home what about your students and is there any challenge that they are facing that you you had to kind of help them overcome the biggest issue is that, is that not not everybody got the same line like us so I make it a policy to, to stream my talk or my lectures uh, at least to two other platforms, uh, either Teams and YouTube. So whenever we do it like that, so if for those who are not getting the full benefit of the online session, they can go and check out the video later once they have access to a good line. Uh, that's one. The other thing is <coughs> whether we like it or not, some will never have good connection so whether we want it or not we have to share in other mode or other forms so i make use of slide share to share my powerpoint so uh I'm, up till now apparently there's no problem and i also make use of, of the other platform that pengajaran you can sponsor which is openlearning.com and right now most of my lessons are going on on openlearning.com and people find it very convenient We've got a question here uh, on the chat. Do you want to take that? Okay, this one is quite a technical, quite a technical question from FSK. Whenever we share screen in Zoom or other platform, every participant will share the set, share screen as main screen. However, if we use OBS Studio as our main video, how do we know that all participants will see our video as main screen? Okay, so this one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for uh, FSK, uh, the beauty is whenever we are running this show, whenever we are giving the lecture, we are the host. And when we are the host, we have the ability to make us as a spotlight. And to make sure that everybody sees us from the start, uh, I make it a point usually when I start my classes, if I'm using Zoom, I tell everybody to go and click on the top right button and change it to become speaker's view. Now I know. <laughs> don't worry, because personally, during faculty meeting, I don't like to use speaker's view. Because to me, the meeting is not interesting. The interesting part is all the other lecturers. 
So whenever I'm having the faculty meeting, I look at the gallery view. Uh, much more interesting. <laughs> Uh, Prof Kamal um, uh, commented, kita boleh spend sikit sebab belanja minyak sudah kurang. Betul? Betul Prof? Setuju? Betul. Uh, uh, lagi untuk Dr. Azmi? Okay. I'm scrolling up. I'm trying to look for other... Okay. Bagaimana... Okay, this one, that, that, that's a question from Hanis Maskura Yahya. How hmm, to... Uh, how no, to everyone. Bagaimana nak link OBS Studio dengan Microsoft Teams? I already shown you just now. Under Microsoft Teams, uh, you just click on the video and you change the camera from your webcam to become OBS virtual camera. Okay, that's how you link. All right. Cool. I have a question for you. Um, where do you go to upgrade your knowledge of the latest technology or the is there like a website is there is there a youtube channel that you follow i mean this is an opportunity to learn from you you're sharing what you've already learned what about things that are to come like is there a, a go-to place a one-stop center that you go to you know that kind of like up, updates you with the latest is there a podcast that you listen to is there a yeah anything that you want to share with us basically google and YouTube knows everything about us. Mm. Uh, so basically, right now, I don't even question why they know my interest. So what happens nowadays, whenever I travel, I, I, I stay in Shah Alam, uh, Bukit Subang, uh, somewhere near the Nile Alam, eh? and I work in Cheras. You know how far that is. So I'll be spending about one hour or two hours commuting. And inside my car, I will have the YouTube running throughout the entire journey. So, because I have that thing running throughout the entire journey, the YouTube, they automatically scrolls and select the topic they think that will be of interest to me. And whether right. I want it or not, they will teach me everything about OBS Studio. They'll be teaching me about the latest upgrade. Uh, so, right now, they know I bought an Insta360. I don't know how they know. So, uh, when they, last time, uh, Insta360 does not allow me to use it as a webcam. But the very day, the very day that upgrade came out, YouTube already has it on the showing this and they showed me the video as I was driving. So I may not be looking at the video, but I'll be listening to it and I realize that something new that we can I can take advantage of. So I'm s sorry to say, Facebook, YouTube, Google knows everything about me and they allow me to, to learn, uh, uh, they know what is required for me to become a better person. Yeah, Prof. Zaid commented, big data. Yeah learning uh, no plus your location i agree because uh, so basically you're saying it pays to be on youtube listening to stuff on youtube right it's not all you know popular stuff and and yeah, yeah unnecessary uh, but it's very scary last time when i was with helmi helmi uh, helmi and i were working on uh, online academy on breastfeeding so you can imagine i was going through a lot of material about breastfeeding so during that time, uh, look, watching the YouTube was scary. So I end up with videos about breastfeeding non-stop. Okay, so uh, so as mentioned by Zaila, they know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, ada soalan lagi a few more minutes before we conclude. Uh, Kawan-kawan, sekiranya ada soalan buat uh, uh, Dr. Azmi, dipersilakan. Assalamualaikum, uh, Prof. No mind in Yes, please, please. Uh, uh, me, uh, what what type of I mean, uh, spec laptop yang yang rasanya paling sesuai lah sebab uh, sometimes we might have our own laptop whether is it still useful or we need to upgrade our laptop lah. Good so question. what kind of spec that are you expecting so that it becomes smooth lah because kadang-kadang kita ada Macbook yang dah 10 tahun kan uh, so uh, we can use it or is it we, it's Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, on uh, personally, on my part, uh, I use whatever UKM gave me. UKM gave me a computer from the year 2003. I use it for my classes. I use it for streaming. Uh, but it struggles. It struggles. So, uh, so the older is your notebook, the worse off it is. So when I was asking for a budget, 
from the faculty for a notebook for team UKM. We have a UKM uh, in HUKM. We have a team. Sorry, it's faculty of medicine UKM. They created a new team uh, just for streaming. Uh, team they call it Team Media under the this department. So when we were buying equipment for them, I asked a minimum of processor i7. A minimum of processor i7. That's a minimum, eh? And a minimum RAM of 24 gigabyte. But that one is because that unit will be doing streaming a lot. They'll be running OBS Studio. They'll be running uh, Zoom so and so forth. Uh, for my students, uh, for the Mos the Mosem technical team, when we, they ran the whole thing with four notebooks, and all the four notebooks are gaming notebook. Why gaming notebook? Gaming notebook are cheap, but they are highly powered. Okay. Okay, this one Zamri asking the part you were actually PowerPoint slide behind you. How do you do that? Were you able? Sorry, eh? were you able to move the slide to slide seamlessly? Uh, Zamri, I had two monitors. My notebook is connected to another monitor, so my PowerPoint is on the second monitor. My uh, Zoom is on the other uh, the the other screen. So I was using my mouse on the bigger monitor to move the slide so that's how i can do it uh, from slide to slide seamlessly okay uh, do i have a smaller no uh, screen yes i have a small screen five inches believe from aliexpress i use that uh, whenever i'm traveling so why so i don't have to bring my 26 inch notebook whenever i'm doing this at the lecture hall What gadget can you, you boost your wireless line? Okay, your Quincha, the gadget they can you boost your wireless line. Uh, basically, it's something very simple. Cost only forty ringgit. It is uh, your own personal wireless router. Uh, you can look for it at tinyurl.com/streamzoom. I repeat, tinyurl.com/streamzoom. Everything is there. The PowerPoint is there. What brand is reliable? <laughs> okay. Uh, I know uh, Trump is going to hate me for saying this. I like Xiaomi brand. I like Huawei brand. So anything on the AliExpress or on Lazada or on Shopee, the brand is Xiaomi, I buy. My CCTV, all Xiaomi. Uh, my my router, my internet, everything is Xiaomi. Uh, that day, I lost out to my wife when we were trying to buy what they call it, the Roomba, the one for to vacuum your floor. I wanted to buy Xiaomi. She wanted to buy something else. Uh, bila brand, bila, when her brand rosak, I said, next time you should buy Xiaomi. <laughs> Ada soalan uh, lagi? Okay. Okay, tak ada. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, last one. Okay, please do. Who is this? Norman. Okay, uh, Norman here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, for one session of your lecture to the student, how much is your actual time preparing for that one hour lecture? So that you can guide us lah to be prepared. Because I've been doing this for many years already. I've been recording my, all my lectures for the last two years already. So most of the materials required has already been prepared beforehand. All my Kahoot, all my Socrative has already been prepared beforehand. So basically, I just click on this thing and I just run run with it. So uh, like, for, like for me, among the new things that I did, among the new things I did, okay, was to have this QR code as part of my gamba. Okay, so that's the only thing that new I did. So it means about five minutes before class, thirty minutes before class, I get the uh, my ukm dot ukm dot my sign qr in. I created that one. Then I just click. I I just 
I just use it uh, as part of my video feed. So my student, even if they come in late, even if they come in late, they can take attendance because my video feed is there. They just double click on my face. My face is spotlighted. Then they just uh, take attendance from my face. So although I'm teaching, it is not going to affect their ability to take attendance. Okay. Thank you, Helmi. Uh, Dr. Azmi, ada soalan dari FSK. Uh, okay. Uh, so, okay. Sebenarnya, for the template, most of the effect that I have, I take it direct from Camtasia. One of the legacy that uh, Dr. Amin B did for us was to get us all Camtasia 8. So Camtasia, if you register, they have all this background, frame, sound effect, animation, music. So personally, all this while, I've been using Camtasia material. But sometimes uh, when Camtasia cannot provide, I just go and Google for free content or free from copyright content. And these are the materials that I make use. I hope that's clear. I'm not really... I'm not really uh, what you call rajin sangat nak look for materials. I just get by enough to teach. So uh, I try not to spend too much time uh, looking for other kind of things because we spend most of our time teaching, uh, writing, doing research, publishing papers. Itu yang KPI kita kan? Itu, itu yang kena target lah. Next year worse, kena cari duit. Alright, thank you. Okay, so Please share how to be a good academician. That's why I cannot give advice. Because I'm not a good academician. Uh, why I use YouTube? I use YouTube because I want to make life easier for myself. Uh, I'm I'm not really that selfless. Uh, because I, when I share materials on YouTube, it makes life easy for me. As, as you notice that, I got all this short uh, link, short URL. Whenever people WhatsApp me, don't ask me how to do this. I just give them the tiny URL me link. So it make life easier for me. Alright? So I'm not really a good academician. Uh, that's why... <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, if I'm really a good academician, uh, uh, I will not be... Apa, staying in UKM for so long. I'll be going there, here and there. Uh, <laughs> I see a new you with compared to the last time I said Yes, I'm bigger After the high tech, I cannot cycle anymore <laughs> Okay, thank you Sorry, uh, Dr. Rahina I was going a bit uh, I think it's a meeting of friends uh, As much as, as those who are interested In what you have to say So, yes. so you've got lots, lots of friends and yeah. fans out there Thank you, friends. Thank you. These are all my friends from 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Okay. 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 Kalau 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 tak ada soalan lagi, we don't want to take up Dr. Azmi's time. Uh, he's he's been very generous with his sharing. So I think without further ado, we'd like to uh, thank you very much, Dr. Azmi. Okay. Thank uh, you. Ya, di pihak pengajaran Prof Kamal, uh, Prof Rosli, uh, uh, Dr uh, Helmi, uh, Prof Madia, Dr Azmin uh, uh, Ramli, uh, Ramli dan saya sendiri serta pengurusan uh, Mike uh, dan dan semua uh, ahli di pengajaran um, uh, bagi bagi uh, untuk maklumat uh, peserta uh, Dr Azmi juga adalah uh, ahli Task Force UKM Folio. So kalau yeah. bila kawan-kawan bertanya soalan yang susah-susah, kami akan uh, Telegram ada uh, hantar soalan tu kepada Task Force dan Dr Azmi adalah salah seorang daripada yang dapat membantu menjawab soalan-soalan ni. So he's doing a lot of things. He and and the Task Force, uh, you know, led by by uh, Dr Helmi Prokama. So, so we would like to thank you for constantly upgrading your knowledge to share with us, Dr. Azmi. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Uh, apa, uh, kalau, kalau tiada soalan lagi, uh, kita sudahi sesi kita dengan surah Wal'as.
Okay, baik kawan kawan semua uh, bagi mereka yang belum lagi uh, scan attendance mohon scan QR code. Uh, rakaman ini akan disediakan uh, dalam YouTube channel pengajaran and we will share this also um, via our Telegram. So please do subscribe to pengajaran uh, UKM's Telegram um, uh, channel. Okay, Dr. Azmi, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh,